Hi, welcome to the Smiling Tabby. Um, I have a pile of some vintage stickers to share with you today. So I kind of spread them all out here. Um, and let's get into it. So I'm trying to figure out where to start. And <clears throat> so I'll start with a um, couple fun blasts from the past from the 80s. Our friend Alf. Um, I, there was two. Now these... These are stickers on a on a card, like a trading card. Um, and let's just give you a close up. Massachusetts, visit Massachusetts, home of Plymouth Rock. He's like, wow, what does he say? What a great location for a rock video. Oh my gosh, it's so cheesy. And then this one, Connecticut, home of Mystic Seaport. <laughs> Man. The seaport is mystic. <laughs> it's so cheesy. I love it. So um, these are dated 1987. And um, it's just interesting because the back has little facts about each of the states. Um, these are the only two state ones I have. Um, I recently got these in an online auction. So it says produced by Zoot, Z-O-O-T, made in Italy. They kind of remind me of, yeah, see how it says Bend and Peel? Um, and maybe it is the same company, Panini, P-A-N-I-N-I, -I, um, an Italian company that made cards like this for all types of different <clears throat> um, TV shows, characters. So um, there's that. And then I also recently got some um, Lisa Frank uh, sheets. And I don't have a date on these, um, but I think they might be from the 90s, maybe early 2000s. I do have some Lisa Frank in my collection, um, primarily from, you know, my own personal collection in the 80s. So the ones I have are, are more from that area, but era, but I do have some of these, this era too, because the graphics uh, from this era look, you know, different than the 80s era. I feel like the 80s were a little bit more simplistic for Lisa Frank. I don't know if that makes sense. So here's a couple other just random um, sheets that I got. Uh, Hallmark cards. Both of these are Hallmark, yes. Um, Halloween. These um, bats are flack, uh, flocked, not flacked, flocked. And these are just flat, you know, there's no texture. I don't know the date on these, but to me they look vintage. Oh, this guy's a little crooked. Can you see the little bug um, down here? It look like, looks like he came off and then was put back on, but not put back on straight. So I might be able to fix him. Now these are not Hallmark, they're um, Forget Me Not by American Greetings. <clears throat> I don't have the date on this. I'm sorry if I keep clearing my throat. <clears throat> and doing that <laughs> my allergies are awful so uh they don't have a date on them but they look vintage to me um vintage being probably 90s this is what I guess I don't know whether I should keep these in the package I don't really need to keep all of them I could just keep one sheet and you know maybe other people want to purchase the others I don't know um here's another forget me not package birthday bear um the person that sold these to me well I don't know if they were the original the original place of purchase was drug emporium dollar <laughs> 26 from the drug emporium this is a weird name um AGC like I said dollar 79 was the price birthday bear Carlton cards American greetings Cleveland, Ohio, made in the USA. So I do think these are vintage. They do have like kind of a, an 80s, early 90s flair to them. They're really cute. I really like those. Okay, and then this is like a random lot that I'm sharing with you, but there's some good stuff. So these sheets are, um, there's no sticker brand on these. Um, they're Calico Critters stickers. So I don't know if any of you are familiar with Calico Critters. I've bought them for my nieces and they're really cute little toys. 
Um, I think they used to be called Sylvanian families, or maybe they're still called that uh, in other countries um, like Canada. But they're little critters. They have little outfits. You can buy little accessories for them, like a, a house, um, furniture, uh, vehicles, things like that. So that's the first sheet. And then um, here's the second sheet where you can really kind of see um, this is more, you know, lifelike. It's almost like they photographed, well, they did, the little, the little figures. And I just thought they were just so cute. And um, yeah, I just really love them. Here you can say, see it says Calico Critters of Cloverleaf Corners. And um, I just can't wait to, to hang out with my nieces and play with the Calico Critters that I got them. Well, I got one niece got a, the house for her birthday, but she has a sister and she shares. So I do have some vintage toots by card design. <coughs> I'm so sorry that I wanted to share. Oh, that was my computer. So this is a strip that I believe is very rare. I'll try to bring it up close. I hope you, oh, you're seeing more of my hand than the sticker. So I did get this in an auction. Um, I'll read you the back. It's, you know how they're all named, you know, like um, rock out teddies or dress up bears. This one's called Ethel Mermaid. Uh, it says designed by card design staff. So uh, the other ones I have really have a designer's name on it. This one just says designed by card design staff. It has the item number. And then it says manufactured under license from card design by Pace Incorporated, Dallas, Texas. So I think at some point card design sold their designs to Pace or collaborated with them. She does have some discoloration um, down here in the white part. That happens with stickers if they're in an album and they're, you know, obviously they're older and the album isn't acid free or, you know, archival safe. The paper will just turn uh, because the paper itself is, is old. There's no, there's no, I should be careful with her. I should be careful with Ethel, Ethel Mermaid. Um, there's no date on this. But I, I was really excited to get that. Here's another older one. This is um, Message Units by Card Design. And it's called Unicorns in Space, designed by Vicki Beggs. Oh, yeah, Vicki Beggs. Yeah, she designed some of the other ones I have. It's just interesting how this says you could join the sticker club, join Card Design Sticking Together fan club, and receive special membership stickers, quarterly newsletter, and more. Write to, and then it has the information collector's catalog send a dollar for a brochure of our older sticker de designs I wish I did that when I was younger and I wish I saved it and I wish I can get this in the frame correctly so toots message card design I really love that it's a little bit askew on the backing but that's okay I don't care and then my last uh card design toots sticker I have to share is this little bear. She's really cute. She's a ballerina bear. And let me put her this way. And she is a super toot. So she's larger and she's on a clear background. So she's like see-through. You know, if you put her on a window, which I wouldn't do, you could see through it. Has the item number. Um, she's just really adorable. There are some like ridges, not ridges, but like you see those lines right here? She was in an album. She was in one of those um, magnetic where you stick, peel back the, the clear sheet, put your pictures or stickers in there. So that's where she was, but I'm excited to get her. I don't have many of these larger ones. They called Super Toots. Then they had ones that are even bigger called Super Duper Toots, <laughs> but I don't have those. Okay, so cranking along. So this is a big pile of some Three's Company uh, trading card stickers that I got, um, a whole pack of them. They came in this cute little container. Um, originally I had bought some of these, not as many 
from a seller, but I think they got lost in transit. So uh, I found these on eBay, I think. So we don't have to go through all of them, but I'll just try to... Well, you can't see them when I do them up like that. I'll just kind of, you know, go through them with you and you can see them. Um, let me do it like that. And the back says, fold on the dotted line and slowly peel the sticker. So who enjoyed Three's Company? I loved that show. I mean, Mr. Furley, the Ropers as the landlords. So Mr. Furley's not in here. These are all just ones about the Ropers. So it has like a scene from the, the set and then it talks about, and then it has like a little like silly quote. Look, dear, Jack can read without moving his lips. Copyright 1978, Three's Company. Copyright 1978, ABC. Um, sure, I'll fix your leaky faucet after you move. So I'll just kind of go through these really fast. I don't know how many of you are um, Three's Company fans, but I just, I really loved Three's Company. And I also loved, um, I loved their, I remember thinking their apartment was so cool. You know, that that curved door and and it was just kind of just like, 70s cool you know um and Chrissy and Janet and then remember Chrissy left and then there, there was like another actress that took over for her and maybe there was even somebody else that took over not for for her they introduced her you know as a whole new character but exercising is fine Jack but can you stretch our budget and Jack was a cook so let me give you the background <laughs> three's company knowledge so it was based upon a show called uh, in the UK called Man About the House. And two uh, women in this in the US version, um, Janet and Chrissy, their roommate, they had another roommate that was a woman and she left to like get married or have a baby or something. And um, Jack Tripper moves in. This is the landlord. And in order to have him live there because they the landlord didn't think it was proper that a man's living with two women. They had this whole charade that Jack was gay. I don't know. It's just weird. And he was a chef. I don't know what Janet did. Was she like a florist or something? I don't even know what Chrissy did. Mrs. Roper was the uh, landlord's wife. She would always kind of bicker with her husband. Um, then there was that creepy guy, Larry. <laughs> who lived in the building, was like a lounge lizard. He was always like a womanizer. Like, but none of the ladies really, none of these girls really were down for it. Oh, there he is. Norman fell as Mr. Roper. Oh my gosh. What a face. Um, zany Bachelor Jack. I mean, they're just, I don't remember having these when I was younger, but I, you know, obviously I liked the show. Obviously I know more about the show than I thought I did. Um, yeah, Chrissy, One in a Million, Three's Company, Suzanne Summers. And what else can I say? I kind of want to watch Three's Company again. I did uh, watch the very first episode, so maybe that's why it's like fresh in my mind. Not too long ago, I found the very first episode online or on the, I don't even know what channel it was on. Adorable Chrissy. She was really cute or is really cute. Wacky Roommates. Irresistible. How come Chrissy got many of her own cards, but Janet didn't? I don't like that. Where's the Janet ones? Why? Just because she wasn't a blonde? Here we go. Suzanne Summers is Chrissy. Where's my girl Janet? Three smart cookies. And Chrissy always, you know, her character was like the dumb blonde, and Janet was like the practical brunette. You know, it's so stereotypical, 70s. Jack Ritter again. Um, there she is, the portrait of Janet. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> and I'm almost done here. Dream girl Chrissy. Oh my gosh, so funny. That's the last. So then the next thing I want to share with you real quick is um, my recent Mrs. Grossman's uh, subscription that I got for April. So... Um, here is the postcard. They send you a postcard with every subscription. Oh, let me go back to the letter because there is, um, 
24% off your next purchase on the website. Use promo April 24. Um, hope I'm getting that in the frame. And so this month's theme is kind of like, I think what they said was like glittery, like farm things. So I kind of tried to keep them all, um, I tried to kind of categorize them. So for the video, they'd be organized. So we have some cute farm theme ones. These are just, um, I call them flat uh, because they're not prismatic. They're not, I don't know what the correct term is and they are perforated here. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is like weird. Um, here's some more, uh, now these are glittery pigs and hearts. I don't know, do you call them glittery? Yeah, they're glittery. Then just like really sweet, like springtime, springtime stickers. But I really, I kind of like really enjoy this, this subscription. Um, it's fun because I forget about it. And then, I, then I get the alert email like, oh, it's shipped. Your subscription for the month is shipped. I'm like, oh my gosh. But then I also, I don't know if other sticker people are like this. Then I'm also like, oh my gosh. I got to put them in the book. Is there room that I'm going to have to change around everything? Because what if I want to put these bears next to ones that are already, that I already have that are bears, but then there's not enough room. It's, I'm being overly dramatic, but you know what I mean. This one's so cute. The little teddy in the airplane. See him? He's so cute. Okay. Mrs. Grossman's. She is her stickers have been around for years. She's like the OG of stickers. And then the last two from the Mrs. Grossman's and the last two from my video. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I lied. There's one more. Um, these larger sheets. So you know how they say <clears throat> you always get one from the vault. You get an older one. Every month they struggle. Like, which one is it? And I look and I try to look at like the years on them. This one's 2011. So I'm like... Is this one the older one? But then this one was it was in its own bag. And this is, let's see if I can get this closer to you. It's a beautiful filigree dove. And dove large is from 2010. So this must be it. But anyway, let's put them all together. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, maybe hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, would you consider subscribing? I don't know. I hope so. So, um, I really enjoyed sharing this random bunch of mostly vintage stickers with a handful of the Mrs. Grossman's. And let's not forget about Ethel Mermaid. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around.